So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and sear off the roast. Uh, make sure you pat it dry really well where it won't sear. So this doesn't take long, but it does add to the flavor. For some folks, this is optional. You just put the roast in the crock pot, turn it on, let it go. Um, for me, I think it gives a little better flavor, but some people can't tell the difference. So again, if you're in a hurry and you don't want to sear it, which sometimes I don't, um, go ahead and just throw it in the crock pot. I've got a little bit of olive oil in here. You can use any kind of oil you want. It doesn't get so hot that the olive oil starts smoking. I think this is kind of the most difficult part is getting those edges. Okay, so we got a nice sear on the roast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pivot into the Instapot, add the roast, and two cups of beef broth. I use better than bouillon just because it's small, concentrated, it stores really well. So we've got that added in there. And then right before we go to bed, I'm going to put it in the Instapot, set it on the slow cooker function, low, for nine hours. Then when we get up in the morning, I'll check it, see if it's done. If so, I'll take it out, and then I can do the vegetables. I don't like to do the vegetables overnight like this because I think the carrots and potatoes get way too mushy. So I'm going to do those separately because with the Instapot, it takes two minutes to bring those vegetables up to temperature and have them cook. So this is kind of it, ready for the night. I'm going to put it in the Instapot. To go with our Sunday dinner, I decided to make a lemon pie. Uh, the reason I chose lemon is because I had some leftover lemons. And the recipe calls for one quarter cup of juiced lemons. Kind of hard to see there. Uh, three egg yolks. It's cornstarch, flour, a little bit of sugar, two cups of water, and some butter. So what it says to start with is to put the sugar and the flour and cornstarch and salt into the pan, add the water, and then mix together. After that, we're going to cook it on the stove. I'm not going to show you that part on camera, um, but I will put a timer on this so you can see how long it takes to make the lemon pie. Okay, making the filling from start to finish took about 18 minutes. It includes measuring out all the ingredients. And I'm going to pour it into a graham cracker crust. I chose this because I just I didn't want to make a pie crust. I didn't want to buy a pie crust and then have to bake it blind. I thought this would be quicker and simpler. And then instead of the meringue, I will go ahead and use Ready Whip, Cool Whip, to put on top of it. So this makes a pie in under 20 minutes. The cost to make it, if you have all the dry ingredients, the cornstarch, the flour, the sugar, you're looking at about $4.50 for the pie. If you don't have those things, it's going to probably run you about $6 to make this pie. The Ready Whip is what really increases the price. You could go ahead and do a meringue if you want to, but you're going to have to drag out the, the hand beater and beat it and whip it and bake it and the whole bit. So I think this is a pretty quick option to have with your Sunday dinner. I priced out lemon meringue pies at the store and they have gone up to almost $10 a pie. So. Even though we kind of took the easy route with this, uh, it's definitely going to be a lot cheaper than buying a pie. Although, always pick up one of those pies. All right, so the roast is done. Taking the temperature, we had an internal temperature of about 165. Um, some sites say you can go as low as 145, but I, I like 165. So what we're going to do is we're going to carve the roast against the grain, and the grain's kind of going this way. So we'll give it a try and see. That comes off very nice. And I'll leave the rest uncarved so it doesn't completely dry out. The next, we're going to go ahead and get the vegetables started. I still have the liquid from cooking the roast. And I'm going to add a steamer basket. 
and I'm going to put the veggies that take the longest to cook in the bottom. Wiggle it all down in there. I'm going to salt it and pepper, get some pepper. And salt. Vegetables can take a lot of salt. Okay. Ooh. Then I'll put this in the Instapot, set it for steam for one minute. So it looks like we're ready for dinner. We've got our apples, our pie, rolls, vegetables, and our roast beef. Now stay tuned for a little extra tip on if you want to make this meal ahead of time and be able to have it hot. Okay, so here's your bonus tip. If you make this ahead of time, you can put everything in individual little foil containers in a casserole dish. And then about 45 minutes before you're ready to eat, turn the oven on 200, put this in, and let it come up to temperature. I also put some broth from cooking the roast on top to make sure the roast stays nice and tender and doesn't dry out. Make sure you top, after you close up the compartments, make sure you top everything with the aluminum foil. And then just before you eat, I would go ahead and make the gravy and put the rolls in. So stay tuned because what we're going to do is take a look at what's left over and then meal plan for the rest of the week with the leftovers.